Hello, everybody. Happy, what is today? Happy uh, Sunday. <laughs> How are you guys doing? I uh, was looking through my boxes, and of course, I found some more crazy pieces of jewelry. Uh, hopefully, you guys will like them. I got um, some costume, some vintage stuff, and um, lots of, oh my God, so many earrings. If you guys are in store for costume earrings, I have a lot of them and they're not all clip-ons either. They're like, some are, are post, that kind of thing. Hey, Barb, welcome. Christina Lar, Stina Resells and Picky Nikki. Welcome, welcome. How are you guys doing? Um, I'm excited for the show tomorrow. Marzena's birthday, the brat, brat number two. I mean, yeah, I'm brat number one. She's brat number two. So she's going to be having an amazing show. We have uh, all the awesome resellers there. It's going to be a lot of fun, and it starts at 8 a.m., wait, 8 a.m. my time, so uh, not 8 a.m., but 8, 9, 10, 11, 11 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, because you guys are the Eastern Time, but yeah, for me, it's 8 a.m., so it's going to be early, but yeah, that will that'll be fun. Uh, could you imagine, though, 11, is it 11 or 12 at this point, resellers, so all these different people are going to come and, and sell, how exciting, right? So that's going to be tomorrow. But hey, Mary, welcome in. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Um, I've got a lot of sterling silver. And um, I got everything. I got sterling, costume, copper, um, gemstones, figurines, all kinds of stuff. So hopefully you guys will like it. Um, I was cleaning some sterling right now. That's what I was doing. So I was moving a little bit slow. But how are you guys doing on this Sunday afternoon? Oh, today's giveaway is going to be hashtag uh, sugar, S-U-G-A-R. So go ahead and put hashtag sugar. That'll get you entered into the giveaway today. And still working on the hashtag promote. I don't know what happened to the um, the the link. So I have to revive it or something. Yeah, it's kind of weirdish. Um, but yeah, how's everyone doing? Okay, I'm going to um, be back in one second, and we can start showing some jewelry, because I know you guys love jewelry. The black stuff on my hands. We can do, let's see, let's see, let's see. I don't even know what to start with. There's so much stuff. How about <sighs> something random? How about something like this? Hey, Angela and uh, Randy. Randy's in the house. Check this out, guys. This is a awesome, labradorite heart and it's like a nice paperweight size see the flash in that isn't that cool this will be for sale oh let me explain so how it works for anyone new that's joining you know the random stuff i have to always say i have to say that if you plan to buy anything you just have to email me it's right there steven at sugarvision.com that's with two s's and then you're going to send me your real name your YouTube name, and your shipping address. And then I send you a tracking number via Pirate Ship so you can track your package when I send it out. Hey, Douglas, welcome in. And yeah, that's all you got to do. Hey, Sherry Kelly. Uh, so yeah, I got a lot of different uh, items. So that's all you got to do and just send it to me. And if you plan to bid, if you have an outstanding balance, uh, you would need to pay that first before you can bid anymore. I just have to say that. Thank you. And then other than that, everyone, uh, make sure you put in hashtag sugar, all lowercase. That will get you in for the giveaway. So this nice um, size heart of Labradorite stone, how about I start the bid at $20, if, any, if there's any interest in this. 20 bucks. Oh, and it starts off like this. I don't put, I know it, I, it annoys Randy, but <laughs> I always start the bid off by anyone putting in the amount, just like B Lady did. Just like that. You just put in the amount, and if you're interested in it, you I start calling it down. It's an auction. That's when it starts. 
So there's no pressure on you or me. It's just, you know, it's there. And whenever you guys want something, you just put the number in. So I'm starting to call it now. Go in once. Hey, B, uh, B lady, how you doing, my friend? Uh, let me make sure I'm typing this in correctly. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Oh, that's good. Awesome. And why is my video? It's like restarting when I click there. Thank you, uh, B lady. Sold. Okay, let me write that down with my little papers here and my pen. B lady. Thank you. And and welcome in everyone that's coming in. Thank you for coming. Okay, now I have this old reverse carved lucite hair hair clip. It's a flower, but see the lucite? It's car reverse carved and it's a flower. And how about $8 start bid? And it's like a hair, what is it called? A hair beret? Barrette, beret. <laughs> if any interest in this one. Yeah, I'm showing all kinds of stuff, guys, so you never know what I'm going to show. It could be anything. Earrings, brooches, necklaces, yada, yada, yada. <laughs> okay, so we have that. And we don't dawdle. We keep moving. Now I have these two. Um, hey, Suze. Suzanne, welcome, welcome. I have these two pendants, their choice of, and their glass. We have this beautiful big uh, glass heart right here. And then you have this one that has like, kind of like polka dots in a way. And I'll do $5 starting bid for uh, one or the other for choice. So it's $5 starting bid for choice if there's any interest, but really pretty. You can put them on a nice leather cord or a chain. If there's any interest in those. Welcome in, everyone. Thank you for coming. Happy Sunday. Okay, we keep it moving. Now, I have uh, this cute. You guys are going to laugh at this one. Look at this. I could only hear Marzana laughing herself. Look at this. It's a sterling silver little a duck charm bracelet with little ducks. And it's made of, ster it's made of sterling silver. And I'm going to get the size because I, I don't even know what size it is. But it looks little, right? <laughs> really cute. So this little duck sterling silver vintage bracelet. Let's see what it measures. Oh, my God. It's I think it's meant for a child, right? It's five and a half, not even half an inch, like five and three quarters. Five and three quarters. So it's it's made for a, a child then a sterling silver. Uh, this would be a great gift for for a kid. So if any interest in this one, I would start the bid at twenty dollars. It looks like there's little uh, paint, um, little paint. Oh, they all look the same kind of. They have that same look. But yeah, I think this is my first little. Hey, Carol, welcome in. This is the first little bracelet I've seen uh, for a child before that I ever had for sterling. Hey, Polly, welcome. I'll start calling it going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you so much, Carol. Let me write that for you. With my paper. It's cute, right? <laughs> The next piece I have is something vintage. Remember, guys, I said I was going to bring out random, random. Here's another. This is a vintage matchbox holder. It's made of metal. And it has, does it have matches in here? Sounds like there is. Ooh, there's matches in there. Whoops, a few of them fell. 
they look like they <laughs> they've been used i don't know <laughs> but how about five dollars start bid on this if there's any interest so this comes out and you can replace it but who uses matches anymore right maybe to like candles or anything who knows but that's what it looks like so i have that now let's show something new let's see oh this is a chunky one let's see what size this is this is a sterling silver ring randy says it fits over snail paper matchbooks oh oh carol's carol likes it okay carol let me count it for you go in once go in twice fair warning and sold you know what i did i did have um matchbooks that had angels on them little angels so if i find those i'll bring them next time and then uh this ring is sterling silver it's a chunky one it's like a knot ring this one is a size it's almost i wouldn't say it's is it it's not quite a seven it wants to be but it's not it's like six and three quarters see how it lands right on top of the seven mark but it's a really chunky ring. It's a, a sterling silver, and it's a lot of a lot of weight to it. How about thirty dollars start bid on this? It's marked nine two five. I don't see any other hallmarks unless that is one. Let me see. Those of you who may want a knot ring, I think there is a yeah there is a mark, but I can't make out what it says. But there's like a, an initial inside and then 925 on the other side. So that's this ring if you have any interest in this one. It's got like a cool, cool look to it. So we have that. And I have this next piece. This one is, is kind of heavy. The shell, it's like solid basically. The solid shell is solid. This is a sterling silver. It's vermeil. It's gold tone, and then it has a freshwater pearl. And it's got there's the nine two five mark there. It's got a shell. See the shell? And this is what I meant by it. It's solid, like heavy, heavy. And uh, this is all sterling silver. And if you're interested, let me get the length on it for you. I would put uh, start the bid on this one at forty dollars. There's any interest in this necklace? It's got a heavy shell, and the weight on this one is, not the weight, I mean the side length. The length of the necklace is 16, 16 inches, yeah. Wait, no, not 16 inches, I lied, sorry. It's eight and a half inches, so that's 17 inches. 17 inches in length, if there's any interest in this one. Really beautiful, beautiful. And then, let's see, I also have a sterling silver bracelet, like this. And it, it has an opening like that. It's got a nice, nice click on there. And it's marked 925 on the end. And it says something else, let me see, on the other side. This one says Milor. Okay, so this is Milor Italy. Milor Italy uh, bracelet. And I'm going to get the size for you. It's a size seven. Yeah, this is, oops, this is a size seven. And I could start the bid on this one at $30 if there's any interest. Beautiful Milor Italy sterling silver bracelet.
And if you ever change your mind on anything I'm showing, you can always email me to let me know that you want something that was passed and uh, I can sell it to you. So we have that. And you guys want to see something really cool? Look at this. This is, how much does this weigh by the way? Let's see how much this weighs. This weighs 66 grams, 66 grams. Check this out. This is a really awesome, huge sterling silver cuff. It's a basket weaved sterling silver. Isn't that amazing? And the width of this is, It's like one and seven eighths, almost two inches, almost two inches and two inches wide. This is a beautiful uh, sterling silver basket weave bracelet. And if there's any interest, I would do $200 start bid on this because I did. Hey, Mo, welcome in. They, they do uh, run in the five close to $500 ranges. So I think 200 is fair and it's a lot of sterling silver. So if you're interested, let me know. And again, anyone that's new who doesn't know, I do accept what's called afterpay. And afterpay, you can break it up into four payments. So you don't have to uh, wait. I send the item to you right away while you're making payments to afterpay and you get the item right away. You don't have to wait for it. So this is an option if you're interested. Just let me know. But yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful one. Here's another beautiful bracelet. This one is sterling silver. This is amber and it's a cuff. So it looks like this on the side. It's got a little safety chain and then it opens up like a, you push the bottom and then it opens like this. And this one, let's see, it has, wait, where was that? Where was the part I was gonna show? It's got a little wear right here, like little scratch mark in there. Just a, a full disclosure, just so you know. Uh, but I would do this bracelet for a start bit of 130. If there's any interest in this one. Uh, oh, the size. I think this one is a seven. Let me make sure. Yeah, it's a seven. Size seven. So if there's any interest in this bracelet. Oh, and let me get the weight on it, just so you know how much it weighs. This one weighs uh, 39 grams, 39 grams on this one. And I also have some earrings. Look at these beauties. These are sterling silver post earrings. And they're like like hollow, so they're not super heavy. But if you needed gram weight, I can let you know also. And uh, here's the back of their post. And I do have some costume backings I can give you with these earrings um, if you want them. But these will be a start bid of $40 if any interest in these. And they're pretty nice size, sterling silver. The length on these are, let's see, let's see, uh, two and three quarters, two and three quarters on these earrings, if any interest. You know what? How about 35, $35 if there's any interest now, 35. Beautiful sterling silver. Nice statement, like almost semi, how do you say it? Semi shoulder dusters. <laughs> I also have these earrings. These are sterling silver. Wait, I gotta get to them.
So that's not coming up to me right away. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to pick it up. Okay, just a moment. Almost there. Enjoy the jewelry ASMR. <laughs> As I move, maneuver through countless amounts of sterling silver. Oh. Really, Steven? Are you really going to do this? Why is it not? No. I guess. That is really, really odd. You know what I'm going to invest in, invest in guys? A tray that is a divider. So I can easily go through the earrings because they're already set and I could just be like I want I'm gonna try this pair I'm gonna try this pair and go on and on and on okay moving on we have these earrings these are sterling silver Elizabeth I can see my Elizabeth welcome in welcome welcome I can see you see you <laughs> these are sterling silver turquoise earrings these are beautiful they're post and let me show you the back they ha these ones have their backings on them. And if any interest in these, I can start the bid at $30. These are beautiful. And they measure, let's see, one and one eighth inch, one and one eighth inch. If any interest in these native sterling silver earrings with uh, turquoise cabochons, We have those, and then we have, uh, let's see. You guys want to see necklaces, earrings, costume, just let me know, and I could pull out lots of different options. Here's, let's do a costume necklace. This is an unusual necklace because it is costume, but they did use real freshwater pearls, and it's got these glass pearls i mean not glass pearls sorry little glass beads and then with the freshwater pearls and then they have this uh butterfly and then it also has uh freshwater pearls in there and more of those little flower thingies so this little feminine necklace how about we do 15 dollars start bid if any interest in this one and this is what the back looks like so it looks like a an artisan style necklace because they incorporated like a basic butterfly and then they added all those pearls to it. That's the only thing I can think of. Hey, Christina Lar, how, how are you? Welcome in. Okay, so then the next piece I have is this. This is a very old, uh, shard of porcelain and it's a trinket box made of brass and the cool thing about it is it actually has a mirror inside on the other side of it so with this i can start the bid at 20 dollars there's any interest in this one Cool little trinket box. Mosin for 20. Thank you, Mo. 
I shall start calling it. Anyone else can come in. Go in once. Hey, Steph. Steph South Stuff by the Seashore. Welcome, welcome. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Mo. That's really cool. I, when I got it out of my box, I'm like, I know somebody's going to want these. I mean, want this. Let's see. Oh, I got to show those beautiful earrings next. These are, okay, this is Mo. Okay. Look at these costume earrings, guys. These are so gorgeous. These are made by Weiss. They're clip-ons. Here's the Weiss earrings, signed. And they have this major bling. Major crystal bling. If there's any interest in these beauties, I will do a start bid of $24. But look at those massive crystals in there. And if you wanted to know like a measurement on these, let's see, it goes to one, one and a half inches. Yeah, these are one and a half inches. So any interest in these Weiss clip-on earrings, just let me know. I also have these ones. These are also beautiful. These are also signed Weiss. I can do 15 on these. Oops. It's kind of like an amber colored crystal. And these ones are Weiss. Oops. Weiss. Okay. And then I have this vintage, very old. It's really cool though. This one is signed Coro. And this is a pendant. And it's got a beautiful glass, almost looks like a, like a cat's eye slash moonstone, but it is glass. And then they have little blue rhinestones on top. I can do uh, 15 on this one, starting bid. Really, a uh, really cool glass color, I think, on that one. I have this very old antique uh, brooch. This one looks like this on the back. It's a C-class. It's filigree. It has a little pearl in there. The wiring on the end part is kind of bentish or like warped a little bit on the end part but it, it's super old who knows how old this is but you can tell it's like really old how about a 25 dollars start bid on this one if there's any interest in this There, there is another older piece I have. Where did I put it? Oh, this one. This one is a little trinket box and it has enameled on it. It has flowers and birds. And this one's super old. It says China on the back. And it opens up. And it has a ena blue enameling inside. And uh, how about fifteen dollars start bid on this one? This is a tiny one. This one is about barely an inch. It's seven eight seven eighths of an inch. Randy likes it. I think Randy. I'll start calling it. Go in once. 
go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Randy. I have two Copper Renoir bracelets. I don't know if you have these ones already, Randy, because I know you have a lot of Renoir. Let's see. Randy. But let me show them. I think I even have Renoir earrings. Here are the two that I have. We have this one, which is like a goldish copper. But I don't know. It's, see how it's all like rugged looking like that? Could this be cleaned or is this damaged, Randy? You're the expert in copper. But it, it's signed Renoir. If any interest in this, based on how this looks, I would start the bid at 20 but I don't know if that can be buffed out, cleaned. I have no idea because I'm not a copper person. But we have this one. That's silver tone. Then I have this one, which is way bigger. And this one is uh, silver. This is also Renoir copper. And again, it looks like it, it needs some kind of a cleaning if it can be. But yeah, um, yeah, I do the the same for both if the, if there's any interest in them. So we have those. Oh yeah, copper copper how much did I say? How much did I say guys 20? Yeah, 20 for choice. Both the same, even though this one's bigger. Twenty. Okay, Randy's in. Let me call it for you, Randy. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. I'm going to guess, Randy, you want the silver one. Am I right or wrong? Ah, <laughs> oh, Randy, Randy. <laughs> the silver one. I knew it. Okay. Thanks, Randy. I had a feeling, Randy. Next up is this vintage cloisonne bracelet. It's got beautiful blue cloisonne with the flower. And it's a clamper. How about we start the bid at I love that blue. It's like a cobalt blue with the rose. This one is a size seven, I think. Let's see, let's see. Yes, size seven. But let's keep showing. Look at this one. Oh, this one's interesting, guys. Look at this. This is a huge, I mean, not huge, but it's heavy. What is this? And it's costume, but what does it weigh? Let's see. So you guys know what I'm talking about. It weighs 148 grams, just so you get an idea. But it's not sterling. <laughs> it's, this one's unusual. It's got purple. Is that called cowhide? It's like a, you can tell it's an animal fur, like a cow. I think it's cowhide. And it's like supposed to be country western bling. So you could wear this to st stagecoach, that kind of stuff. It's got uh, rhinestones all on the top. It's got this protective thing here. Calf hair. Thank you, Christina. 
and it's got a magnetic part in there so it closes and it's pretty tough but it still comes with that little safety thing and it's not signed which is unusual i thought it was signed somewhere but it's not um but if there's any interest how about 15 dollars start bid on this one yeah it's pretty heavy but all of it seems to be in nice condition very unusual so i have that and let's see for those of you that collect beads i have two bags of beads these are i'm going to transfer them really quickly into these clear container thingies because then you can see them more clear the other bag i had them in is kind of They've been in there for a while, so they're kind of foggy. Let me show them to you in the clear bags. And you'll get them in the clear bags also. Let's see. I'll, I'm going to put the other ones in. These are going to be $20 for choice. These are African, African beads. And I think I gave some to Randy. I think I did. But these ones here, let me show you. You have uh, these black beads. See the different colors on them? Oh, this is perfect. I like these little things. So you can see them more clear. And then you have this one. And then the other choice is this one. It has these beads. So if any interest in either one, it's 20 for choice. $20 for choice if there's any interest. I might have to do more of those. Oh, you did make one of those, a necklace with those, Randy? How cool. Let's see. I also have this. Uh, this is a glass uh, intaglio cameo lady, and it's a pendant. It's a large one. Ooh, on a leather cord, that's that's going to be awesome. I want to see it. And it's nice because it still has the plastic to put the photos in to, to keep them protected. Still has that in there on each side. This is what the back looks like. And I could do this one uh, for $20 starting bid. Probably 50s, 50s or 60s, maybe, on that one. I have these vintage screw back earrings. They have pink glass with faceted crystals. Hi, Anita. Welcome, welcome. And um, these are screw back. It's got a cool uh, pattern on the glass. It's like crisscross and then they're faceted. Uh, I could do $10 start on these if there's any interest. And they're not, they're not signed. Let me show you the back of them. This is what the back looks like. Maybe you can make even pendants out of them. Welcome in, Anita. Oh, don't forget to put the hashtag, hashtag um, sugar for the giveaway today. Two dollar discount every time I drop the item. Ooh, these are nice. These are heavy. These are hook hooks. Also would make nice pendants. These are a uh, gold tone, and these ones here, right, Picky, uh, Nikki? And then look at this. 
I can do these at five dollar start bid. They're they're heavy with crystals. Gold tone. On those. Guess what else I have? I have Heidi Doss earrings. These are rhinestone clip on earrings and they have like cool crystals on each side look at that on each side of those and they have these ones here like this here's the back and then they're signed heidi doss and if any interest in these earrings, I could do a start bid of $30. Yes, the toggle, you, yes, you can, they can actually come out. See, you can take it out. But they're made to look like, like that, but you can take them out if you wanted to. So it's, it's actually cool. I see what you're saying, Randy. You can wear them two different ways. You can wear them in a way that it, without these inside and with them inside they're both it's the brat <laughs> two earrings in one exactly randy and christina's in thank you Chris, uh, christina so i'm gonna start calling you calling it going once going twice fair warning and sold it's the brat's birthday tomorrow guys in case you don't in case you didn't remember. <laughs> Thank you, Stina. Let's see, where is... Sugar bucks, sugar bucks. Ooh, look at these ones. These are cool. Okay, these are native copper earrings. Look at these. Or how do I have them backwards? Yeah, they go like this. And here's the back. They're not signed, uh, but I'll do $20 on these if there's any interest. <laughs> it's cool because they got like, I like the way they're made. Carol's in for 20. Let me call them down. Yes, Stina, I, I'll, I'll, I'll make sure it's applied. <laughs> Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. What's this one? Jai, Jai, Jai. Guys, this is what I'm looking for. I have two of these. <laughs> the both pair of earrings, matching earrings, and they're Cyan Renoir. Um, I have the other one on the table, but it's under a stack of jewelry. If you're interested in these, anyone, they would be a $20 start bid. 
And these are uh, signed Renoir on the back. And I have the other one, it's just on the table. <laughs> so let me know on that one. Oh, Randy's in. Okay, she let me know. She let, she let me know right away. And so did Carol. <laughs> I'll start calling it. Oh, no, not going yet, because you guys are still bidding. Sorry. Gotta, gotta get used to this picky Nicky. <laughs> These are thick ones, too. Carol's out. Okay, thank you, Carol. And I'll start calling it for Randy. Thank you so much for your bids. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. And I will get the other one, Randy. <laughs> or else I know you're going to beat me up. <laughs> thank you. Oh, look at this, guys. It's a porcelain figurine. And it's signed. It says made in Japan. And it says 1981. So it's definitely vintage. How about for the kissing um, babies, I guess? <laughs> How about a start bit of 20 on this one? It's like a uh, glazed. I will only pay up half until he coughs it up. <laughs> <laughs> I also have this. This one, open it up. Ooh, smells. Okay, this is a uh, Max Factor. This is a sticker on top, but it's a Max Factor pendant. And it, it's that perfume stuff. You know how like you open that stuff inside? And it still has a smell. Oops. How about a start bit of $10 on this? Do you have any 18 inch herringbone necklace? Hi, Mary Lance. Welcome in. Herringbone. Oh, no, not herringbone. I was, I almost thought, because uh, no, I don't have herringbone. That's popular right now. I'm going to have to uh, get some herringbone necklaces. Yeah, a lot of people have been asking for herringbone, I noticed. So that will be my next assignment. How about that? Okay, these are awesome. Look at these. Huge cloisonne, beautiful uh, vintage post earrings. Here's the back. How about $8 for these? Love those colors, right? The blue, the red. Those match that bracelet. Oh, that's true. Where did my, my bracelet go? Where is that bracelet? Where did that bracelet go? Oh, look at this one, guys. This is a white cloisonne bracelet. I would do $20 on this bracelet. And it's it's uh it opens up like that. So so this one is available. If there's any interest in this cloisonne bracelet. Um
I also have this necklace, which is cool. This is sterling silver. It's got cool design on the tip parts and it's on a black leather cord. Then it has this awesome cross that dangles like there, right there. Here's the back of it. And I'll get a length on it for you, uh, but I would start the bid at $38 there's any interest. It's got a cool look to it. This one measures, it's sterling silver, yes, sterling silver. This is a length of a 16 and 5 eighths inch, like a little over 16 and a half inches in length on this one. Yeah, it's marked, it's, I test it, it's marked sterling and it's also signed 925 on the uh, cross part on the right, where is it, where did I see the cross? Oh, right there, it's very faint, right in there and then in the clasp as well. And it's leather, leather, black leather. I don't have any room because I have a new setup here. So I was like trying to show it in all of its size. <laughs> so we have that. I really love this mother of pearl. I've seen pink ones like this, but this one is a really cool, rich color. This is mother of pearl uh, bracelet. Uh, how about $10 start bid on this if there's any interest? And this one measures It's eight inch opening. So this has an eight inch opening. Mo's in for 10, thank you Mo. It's beautiful. It looks even better in person. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. Or oh, I forgot to go a little slower because I got, someone said I need to go slower. And sold. Thank you so much Mo. Does someone like copper? I have this native style copper bracelet. It's got this cool native design and it's signed. It's signed copper and let's see if we can see the hallmark. It has that little hallmark right next to the copper. And then there's some kind of a sticker, which I think the seller will put in here. I don't think that has a meaning for, for us or anything. That's what it looks like. So um, this one, if there's any interest in this, I will do a start bit of 25. Hey, J JV Alcentario. Wait, Alcentenario. Welcome, welcome. I used to have a subscribe button uh, to share your channel links, and I'll have it soon. So next time you guys come, you guys can um, get everyone to subscribe to you. <laughs> it's like easier. Okay, then I have this. Oh, wait. Vintage Trafari, gold tone, and it's blue, 
enameled necklace. If I hold it back like this, and I'll get the length on it for you. And it's signed Trafari right there. Um, I could do this necklace for a start bid of $15. And I'll get the length on it for you. It's 16 inches, but it has like an, I think it's really probably eight, uh, 17 inches because of the extra inch that goes across. Does anybody collect buttons? I have this huge vintage button. It says Jesus Christ Superstar. And it's from, this one is from 19... It says New York City, 1971. This was this button was created before I was even born. It says MCA Records, Inc., 1971. Anyone interested in this? The starting bid would be thirty dollars. Or if you know a Jesus Christ Jesus Christ superstar, send them my way. <laughs> And I have this button they could buy. It's a huge, it's pretty huge. Pretty huge. Where's the other? Oh, wait, I think it goes this way. No, it goes this way. I have these um, costume uh, squash blossom earrings, but they do have. Let me let me fill this. Hold on. No, I think it it's weird because it looks like real stone, but I think it's acrylic or something. But they're hook earrings. How about uh, six dollars for these? They're just costume, but like Southwestern style. Oh, and the back of them looks like this. We have those. I also have these artisan made. Are these signed? No, they're not signed, but they are copper. These are uh, copper clip-on earrings. It's got that kind of a design. Let me show you the back. Oops, back looks like this. And I could do these for $8 if there's any interest in these. They look like mid-century style. Oh, Carol likes them for eight. Okay, Carol, let me count those for you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. Again. Don't forget, tomorrow, Marlena is having her birthday show with 11-plus resellers. So come by, because there's lots of amazing pieces, I'm sure, that everyone will be selling. Okay, these are unusual. They are gunmetal earrings. They have faux pearls hanging, and these opalite, opalite, um, like a plastic-looking opalite earrings and their lever back gunmetal color. I could do these for $5. Dangle, dangle. Any interest in those? 
also have these. They're glass, pink glass earrings. They're, these are clip-ons. Look like this in the back. I could do these for $5 also. Then I have these, also $5. These are Tiger's Eye uh, earrings, and they're silver tone, a shepherd hooks. Love Tiger's Eye. These are vintage post earrings. They have like a, a weird like foil in inside epoxy resin, I would say, that kind of a material and their gold tone post. I can do these for five also. These are um, interesting. Let me show you. I'm not quite sure what the material is, but it's it's hard like a metal. But I don't know what this is made out of, to be quite honest. But it's you can tell they're painted. I could do five dollars on these. But unusual uh, material. Sherry's in for five. Thank you, Sherry. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Sherry. these ones these are cool these are um these are pewter earrings but they have jade beads let me show you they almost remind me of like jj earrings aren't those cool they have uh, jade beads, and then you have the turtles. I can do these for $15 starting bid. These would make great pendants also. Another, another uh, pendant project. 
if you didn't wear them as earrings? That's the back of, oops, that's the back of them. Sometimes you guys ask for critters, and I found this vintage scatter pin of this cute little cat. But he looks like a raccoon cat. <laughs> Here's the back. I could do this one for $5. Oh, you know what? He's missing a little cabochon right there. I didn't see that. A little tiny thing like that. Oops, we'll pass. This one is a, this one has glitter. I think glitter got on here. I don't think it's supposed to have glitter, but it's a, it's a, but it looks kind of cool though, right? <laughs> With the glitter. It's an enhancer and it's cinnabar, carved cinnabar. And I could do this for 20 if there's any interest in this one. Plus, plus it comes with free glitter. Yeah, sometimes jewelry gets mixed up with stuff and you're like, what is going on? These are uh, pretty. These are blue uh, cloisonne earrings, flower earrings. I could do these for five. Then I have this little cute bunny charm with the little glass belly. He has blue rhinestone eyes and his little charm things right there. Do this for five. Vintage bunny. And this is unusual. This pendant is sterling silver, wire wrapped, even the lobster claws sterling. And it has this little crystal and it's got this glass uh, fish. See that? And it's a little charm. I can do this one uh, for $8 starting bid. Kind of like dichroic in a way. that cute huh Stina <laughs> these are vintage green Rivoli earrings look at now I got glitter on my fingers that it has uh, their green Rivolis and then here's the other oops here's the other side they're clip-ons I can do these for five Great for Christmas, maybe, or St. Patrick's Day that passed. These ones are rose quartz and hematite uh, earrings. And I could do these uh, for 
five dollars starting bid. And I have sterling um, findings, and I can put them on if you don't want these ugly, ugly ones that are on there. Because I think they would look nice with the new, a new pair of uh, sterling tops. So we have those. Anybody want a little llama? I don't know how where this came from, but I have it in it's in my possession now. <laughs> Two dollars. Two dollars for a llama llama. He's got something coming out of his eye. Okay, I took it out. <laughs> llama llama. This is sign. Oh, fancy. This is a Nolan Miller uh, costume pendant enhancer. See? It's gold tone, has rhinestones and a dangly faux pearl. I could do this one for $5. Nolan Miller enhancer. This one is costume. It's a like a cameo lady, and it's um, you know it's it's just costume. It's not real shell or anything. Uh, but this one I could do five dollars also. I'm gonna be back. Okay, Sherry Kelly's in. Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold. Thank you, Sherry. Okay. I have this vintage one. This is a vintage pendant of Tiger's Eye. I could do this for five. It's a gold tone with a flashy Tiger's Eye pendant. I got these gorgeous multicolored pearls in a stretch band. Some are dyed blue, gold. I could do this stretchy for uh, that one then I have a jade stretchy I could do this one for eight dollars Then I have this vintage uh, Mother of Pearl bracelet. I didn't test it, but it looks like it could be sterling, the end part. And I could do this one for $6. It's 
mother of pearl bracelet. Okay, let me go ahead and call that for Carol. Thank you, Carol. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. I'll be getting to the sterling soon, guys. I'm just trying to go through what I have here in the boxes. And then I'll start going into sterling. Oh, here's that. Um, I remember how you said I I didn't find it. Here it is. How about fifteen dollars for the set? You get the bracelet and the post earrings. And you're right, Mo. It matches. <laughs> Perfect set, huh? You'll take it, Randy? Thank you, Randy. Okay. 15 for the set. I will call it for you, Miss Randy. Go in once. It's 15 for both. You get both for 15. Oops. <laughs> Randy's like, see, that's why you got to put it in. Or right, did you still want it, Randy, for 15? She's thinking, she's thinking. Yes, okay. I'll call it go in once, go in twice, fair warning, and sold. Thank you. This is a vintage Monet necklace. It has roses printed in gold tone all around the neck. So it's like a, a choker necklace, collar necklace. But it, let me show you, it looks like this. So it lays flat. And it's in very good condition and it's very bright gold tone. I don't see anywhere to this necklace. Sign Monet. backwards. <laughs> There's money. And I could do a start bid on this at $10 for vintage money. And do you guys see the, the flat roses in there? It's imprinted on. Randy's in for 10. Randy, I'm going to uh, get the length for you. Okay. Let's see. Okay, hey Randy, it is 16 and a half inches. <laughs> Go in once. <laughs> Go in twice. Fair warning. And 
soul to Randy. Oh, cool. Thanks so much, JVL Centenario. And guys, go subscribe to him. I subscribe to you too, my friend. Um, I just haven't seen any videos, I, but I plan to. I plan to support. Oh, let me see. Thank you, thank you. I've got to support our YouTube family. And I can't wait to get that link working again. Because it's really easy. You just put hashtag promote and it shares your link. Oh, let me see. Thank you, Randy. The other one to go. I have these beautiful stone earrings. They're blue stones, and then they have uh, crystals with them. Silver tone, uh, what do you call those? Shepherd hooks. And I could do these for $5 start bid. They're ice cold. The stones are really cold. And it's like a blue, blue color. They look like aquamarine. You know what it does, Marzena? Carol's in for five. I would jump on those if I were you. <laughs> Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold to Carol Bloom. Thank you, Carol. I have this. It's like a bottle opener. Slash pendant, slash keychain, slash whatever you want it to be. It's abalone. It's articulated. And I can do him for $20 start bid. There's the top. Randy's in for 20. Go in once. Go in twice. Yeah, Marzana, get your rest. <laughs> Fair warning. She's going to beat me up. And sold. Congratulations. Thank you, Miss Randy. I have this vintage Coro Pegasus Coro a cuff. And it has the safety chain on it still. Opens up here. Minus the gunk. I took, there was a little piece of gunk on the corner. I don't know where that's from, but took it off. And I could do this one for $8. Pegasus Coral Vintage Bracelet. And this is a seven, size seven. Oh God, let me let me show you guys the next piece. It's amazing. Okay, so that's that's that vintage bracelet. 
here is this one. Yeah, the gunk is extra. <laughs> oh, wait, before I show the, the awesome, well, this is awesome too, but look at this. Have you guys ever seen this bracelet? This is so cool. This is an owl with pink rhinestones, and this is by Sarah Coventry. And it's adjustable, so you can wear it to your liking. I would start the bid on this one at $15, if there's any interest. Signed Sarah Cove right there. I have not seen this mesh um, bracelet by Sarah Cove before. I was shocked that it was Sarah Coventry. <laughs> but if no interest, we shall keep it moving. How about a brass spiny oyster bracelet? I could do this for $10 starting bid. Spiny oyster brass bracelet. Randy's in for 10. Beauty. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold to Randy. Thank you, Randy. I'm going to write it down. Hey, Paula Paula, how are you doing? I have this vintage brooch. This one is signed, is it Weiss? Yeah, signed Weiss. There's the back. And this brooch I can do start bid of $25. Any interest in the Weiss? I haven't done brooches in a while. It's been a while since I've done brooches. Oh, guys, I got a sapphire. I got a sapphire. You want to see my sapphire? Look at this. This is sterling silver. Holy guacacholi. It's a uh, sterling silver. And... Here is the beautiful sapphire. Hopefully it focuses. Oh no, I could do the zoom. See that beauty? And it has little diamond chips on the bale. It is signed on the back, 925. Um, BGE. It's a star sapphire. And this one, I can do $90 if there's any interest in this necklace. It's nine, $90. And that's the lower, lower than uh, what is being asked online. So if you need any measurements on it, let me know. Butimus, butimus. Okay, then I have, uh, this is what I wanted to show you guys. This is awesome, awesome sauce. Because this set didn't have, these are copper and turquoise earrings. I added the sterling silver uh, hooks. I know they should be copper, right? Or maybe not, I don't know. 
but they didn't have any. So I added the sterling silver shepherd hooks on myself. And uh, these are signed Bal Copper. And if you look this stuff up, it goes for pretty high. Um, but you're not just getting the earrings. You're also getting the humongous cuff with the turquoise inlay as well. So I'm going to do the set for one price. And it's going to be 120 if there's any interest. And it's signed right in there as well, Bal Copper. And it's a nice chunky bracelet. And if there's any interest in this one. Oh, uh, Paula, the, the Weiss brooch, if you're interested. Oops. Yeah. So let me know. Isn't it cool? Yeah, and I think they do actually look good with the sterling silver shepherd hook, hooks that I put on. I'm not sure if they're copper, originally had copper on them, I'm not sure, but I think they still look nice with the sterling. So that's that's here, just let me know if you change your mind, have that. <laughs> then I have this beautiful sterling silver or paws ancient roman glass bracelet and let me show you the inside do i have it backwards Oh, the brooch. Sorry. Okay. Yikes. Here's the brooch. It's a vin vintage Weiss brooch. Oh, this one was 25? But you do get 10% off. Bidding, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'll start calling it going once, going twice, fair warning. And sold to Paula. Thank you, Paula. You got it, my friend. Oh, I was going to... Oh, no, should I? No, I was going to show something, but I'm like, eh, I could show that next time. Okay, here's the next piece I have. Uh, this is a, a Peridot chip bracelet, and it has a silver finding that says strength, strength, a stretchy strength. How about $5 for this? Oh, baseball game is next. I'll see you after the game. Okay, thanks, Dina. Have a good game. Good luck, good luck, good luck. Sherry's in for five. Thank you, Sherry. Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you so much, Sherry. Okay, so I'm going to write that down. And then Mary, oh, you're right. I have to show the or pause. So I'm going to uh, write this down. For Sherry. Let's see. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So here's the Roman glass bracelet. It's right here. This beautiful sterling silver ancient Roman glass. I, I'm going to ask the start bid of $60 if there's any interest. 
sixty dollars. It's got some beautiful texture in the sterling all around it, which is really cool. The artisan artisan made bracelet. And the size, oh, let's see. It's a seven. It's a seven. And it's it's nice because you know that it moves a little bit. So I wouldn't move it terribly a lot, but you know, you could move it. Right, right, Randy. Exactly, you can adjust, you can adjust it. This is a great to go into your collection if you do collect Roman, ancient Roman glass and or pause jewelry. I uh, have not seen this one. So I would get it if you want it. Get it now while it's good. Get get it while the getting's good. $60. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Steel, right, Marzena? And don't forget, guys, I can add afterpay to my invoices. We have that. Then I have this one. Look at this necklace. This is a sterling silver dainty chain necklace. It's a dainty necklace, but you'll see why. Look at the bottom. It has a little, you know, those, those you, you blow those flowers for good luck. You know what the, they have those little um things inside this is little glass bulb bulb with those little um inside of it and i could do this for 20 dollars start bid sterling silver and glass with the little dandelion there you go thank you you blow the dandelion for good luck and that's what's inside the glass. If any interest. And my next piece I have. How about an amber necklace? This is a vintage sterling silver. Amber necklace. And I could do this necklace for a start bit of 75. Sterling silver, amber. Then I have this one. This is a beautiful sterling silver Rolo link. Really love this one. And it's got an artisan made sterling silver. And uh, this is testing as quartz. It's a gorgeous, beautiful quartz in, inside pendant. And I, it is signed on the bail. I was asking $70 for this last time. I'm going to bring it down to $60 starting bid. It's got a huge chunk of beautiful quartz. We 
have that one. Then this one is pretty unusual and cool. This is a sterling silver uh, necklace, but it has like seed beads in between inside the middle. See that? And I think uh, Sopata makes a necklace like this also. It's got an extender and like a little metallic bead on the end part. So this necklace is, I'll get the length on it for you, but if any interest in this, I would start this at $40. It's got a little hook on it and it's adjustable. This one measures at, oh, it's small. It goes to 14 and a quarter inch, 14 and a quarter inch. So it's definitely a choker. It's a choker necklace, 14. And then it has, isn't that crazy? It looks, I thought it was a little bit bigger. So, so that's it. <laughs> so we have that. Then we have Deborah. Miss Deborah's in the house. She's going to be one of the sellers on Morzana show tomorrow. This is sterling silver. And then we have on the end a sterling jump ring with a sterling mother of pearl and blue stone uh, pendant. And here's the back. And I could do this one for $28 starting bid for this necklace. $28. I love the vintage chain too that goes with it. Thank you, thank you. And then if anyone's looking for, I think this is Figaro. Is this called Figaro Marzane? This is Italy sterling silver. And this chain, let me get the measurement on it. Yes, Figaro, thank you, thank you. This one is uh, 20 inches in length. Yeah, 20 inches in length. And I can do this necklace for uh, $45. If there's any interest, $45 start bid. Italy, sterling silver, Figaro necklace. I know somebody was asking me for a 30 inch one, but I don't, this one is not, not that long. Okay, then I got this necklace. This is sterling silver. And this is the goddess face. Oh, isn't that funny, Sherry? You just said any, any uh, jewelry with faces and look what I show. <laughs> so we have this, it's got the multi gemstones and, um, this is how the back looks. Love the bail. It's like a Bali style. And the chain is, let me see how the chain is. The chain is a length of 15 inches, but Sherry, I can get you a longer chain. If you want like an 18 inch chain, I can get you a longer one if you want. Cause this is 15 inches. It's a little shorter on the short side and I wouldn't charge extra either. So I, I'm asking for this if in any interest, $30 start bid and that's including the chain. And if you need a longer one, I can, I can provide it. That's the back sterling silver. Yeah, I never, and it's, oh, carved bone. That's what that is, carved bone. And I also have, if anybody's looking for a, a Native American, this is made uh, sign QT, QT925, sterling silver, um, liquid silver necklace. And this uh, Native necklace I can do 120 starting bid 
which is also a good deal. And it's sign QT. Yeah, it, it is short. Oh, that's what I was thinking too. But good price. So we have that one. Then I have this native one. This one is sterling silver cones and liquid silver. And this has... Um, coral, pink coral, and then the sterling silver bottom part. Here's the back of it. On this necklace, I can do a $30 start bid. And I'll get the length on this one too. This is 18, 18 and a half inches. Yeah, 18 and a half inches on this one. And the other one I have is this one. Nice prices, right? This one, I'll do 30 as well. This is sterling silver, liquid silver, and this is sodalite beads on this one. <laughs> Your 20 22 inch feels like a choker. <laughs> 90. Um how how big was that one? Let me see. This one. Okay, then I have this. This is a sterling silver spiny oyster, really a hefty pendant. And I could do this for sixty dollars. And it's it's gorgeous. And it's really, um, it's a lot of sterling, it's solid, solid sterling silver with spiny oyster inlay, and it's smooth like butter. And Mosin for 60, thank you, Mo. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'll start calling it for you. Go in once, go in twice. Fair warning. It is. And sold. Thank you, Mo. Congratulations. Oh, a soft tape. The one you gave me, my friend. Oh, no, that's not soft, huh? That one's also the other one. Let me mark this down. Here they go. I was like, where did they go? Hey, r, &R welcome in, my friend. How are you doing, r, &R? Romel. Oh, soft tape has millimeters. Where's my soft tape? 
I did have a soft tape. Where did I put it though? I don't know where my soft tape is. Darn it. But I can, let's see. What if I put it across like this? Oops, wait, wait, wait. No, no, not at all. We, you can ask anything you like, my friend. We're, that's what we're here for, to help. We work for you guys. So if we put the chain across that way, I don't know if that helps at all. Kind of to see. Hey, Purple Rain. Welcome in, my friend. How are you doing? So I'm not sure if that helps. But you know what I should uh, also get? And I think I have one, but I need a new battery. It's the one, the caliper, right? The caliper where you can, where it does the millimeters. That would be a good thing to have. So I'll definitely invest in, in something like that. Okay, this one is gold tone. It's got a dangling crystal there. And this is costume, but it has this beautiful uh, like a boulder opal uh, pendant that hangs in there, but it's just costume and uh, it's a gold tone. And I would do this for $20 start bid if there's any interest, but it's really beautiful. And the, the length on this necklace. It is 16 and a half inches. 16 and a half inches on this one. If any interest. Then this one is unusual. Look at this one, Marzana. I thought of you. I don't know why when I saw this. It's vintage. It's all sterling silver. And then when it comes to the bottom, it's got this green lucite wheel. It looks like glass, but it's like lucite green and green colored and color. I mean, and it's sterling silver. And um, I will do $30 start bid on this one if there's any interest. And then I'll get the length on the chain. I really like the chain, though. It's cool. Isn't it cool, Steph? The the um, design of it, I like that. So this length is 21 inches. But I'm sure if you wanted it shorter, you could just hook it to one of the, you know, the length that you want, and then it gets smaller. Mo's in for 30. Thank you, Mo. I will start calling it. I just un unbuttoned it so I can get the measurement. Going once, going twice, fair warning, and sold. Doesn't this remind you of like a 60s style? Do you guys think like 60s mod? It's really cool. Thank you, Mo. Congrats. It does, right? I thought so. <laughs> Where was the other piece? Oh God, look at this. Look at this, guys. This is super old. Hi, Jeanette Rivette. Welcome in. This is super old. And this was gifted to me, I think, by Cindy, jewelry nurse, like a long time ago. Um, but I she she said I can sell it, but you know, she gave it to me as a gift. But it's super awesome. This is signed from West Germany. You have this wire 
wire wrapped brooch. It has a clear rhinestone in the center. So it's all wire. And then here's the back of the pin. It looks like this, but it comes with not just the brooch, but the earrings and the earrings dangle, see? And it's the same material, the wire wrapped with the rhinestone. And it's that's where it says uh, Germany on here, on the end parts. They're screw backs. So I have the set. Here's the other one. And if any interest in the set, I could do a start bid of $25. If there was any interest in this. So we have that. Then I have this one. This is sterling silver. This is an artisan made piece. It's got that type of hook. And then at the bottom, it's got this cool Roman guy. And this is a solid sterling silver bead that dangles on the bottom. But this has a little pearl, like a rainbow colored pearl in, in uh, stuck right there in his head on the side. And this is brass. This square is like hammered brass and sterling silver. That's what the back looks like. Or not brass, I'm sorry, copper. I meant to say copper. This is copper. So it's brass. I mean, sorry, I keep saying brass. It's copper and sterling silver. Gee, Steve. Okay, so this uh, necklace, I would start the bid at 35 if there was any interest in this one. And I'll get the length on it for you. If it says Germany, it's pre or post. Oh, let me look at it again, Randy, to make sure. Well, I'll, I'll put, I'll do like a zoom in on it. This one is 18 and a half inches. Yeah, 18 and a half inches on this necklace, if there was any interest. And the set is here. Let's look at the back of the earring. Made in West Germany. Yeah. So Paula's in for 35. Paula, um, what was the... Was it this one, Paula? Just to make sure. Okay. I will call it. Thank you, Paula. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Paula. Awesome, awesome. This next necklace is gold filled. This is a beautiful necklace and it's kind of like, see how dainty the, the the rings are on it? But what's beautiful about it is, is it has a gemstone hanging, faceted gemstone hanging from the bottom part. It's so beautiful. And um, if you ask me what the stone is, I couldn't tell you because this is when I got this, this is when my tester went out. Um, but yeah, I. I know it's a gemstone and, um, but see, it has kind of like a greenish blue hue to it. Um, but it's, it's a beautiful necklace. 
I can do this for uh, $30 starting bid. And it's gold filled, the clasp is marked. It's like 120 something. Yeah. Looks like Praise Your Light. Yeah, it's it's beautiful. So we have that. Looks like, yeah. Got that one. And then if anybody is looking for a saint, you know, to wear around your neck when you're driving, I have this uh, really old vintage sterling silver, a saint. Um, here he is there. This is all sterling silver, St. Christopher. And then here's them driving, and it says sterling. So you wear this when you're driving on a long trip. And I could do this necklace for $28. And let me get the length on it. It has a drop, it doesn't have an opening on it. So you would have to like put it over your head. So it's like 12 inches, almost 12 inches. So you're looking at 24 inches, but I think 23 inches. Hey Marlene. So if any interest in that one, then if we move it, oh, this one. This this one again also is, wait, these are little crystals, little blue crystals. This is a sterling silver chain. And then you have these beautiful uh, dangling uh, blue crystals. And I could do $24 on this necklace. On that one, I haven't. Where's there? Uh, I had another one that looks similar, but it had a pearl hanging. Looks like a jellyfish, exactly, huh? <laughs> this one is costume. I have the little string attached to it. I need to cut it off. This is silver tone. Hi, Vita Milani. Welcome in. You have your faux Thunderbird. Well, it's a Thunderbird, but I mean faux. It's not like sterling. It's costume, vintage. I could do this one for 15. Here's the back. With a long silver tone chain. We have that one. And this one is costume, but it's cool. It's brass but it has a brass mesh chain. And then it's got this heart with rhinestones, green, beautiful, flashy rhinestones. And it's not signed at all. I could do this one for $10 start bid. Love those green stones on that one. Oh, let me bring it back. It looks like there's some interest in that one. We have Marlene at 12, Sherry's at 14. Randy's looking for 16. Okay, Marlene says, out to Sherry. Thank you, Marlene. I'll start calling it. Go in once. And thank you, Randy. Go in twice. Fair warning. And salt. Thank you so much.
Okay, this this one is a really old necklace. It's got silver tone beads. And this uh, it's like a mother of pearl with painted birds on it. And it says H A on the bottom. Here's the back of the mother of pearl. I did not test this for sterling, but I don't believe it is sterling. Um, but if it is, extra for you. <laughs> but on this one, um, I will do this one for $15 start bid. If there's any interest in this necklace. Carol's in for 15. Thank you, Carol. I'll call that going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. This is a black glass vintage necklace with beautiful barrel black beads, orange beads, more black beads. Then you have these beautiful flower beads in between, like lampwork glass flower beads. And looks like that. So it's like really long. I could do this necklace uh, for a $12 start bid. $12. They're all black glass beads and lamp work flower beads. Really long necklace. And if any, if you guys want measurements on anything, just shout it out and I can get it for you anytime. No problem. This next one I have is pretty cool. I, I put it on a sterling silver chain. The, the pendant is not, the top part of the pendant is not sterling, but I put it on a sterling chain. And it's this awesome crystal. That's the top part. And I could do this for a start bit of 25. Isn't that beautiful? Cool jingle jangle. <laughs> then we have this necklace. This is a sterling silver gold verme. And you have black spinel, heart, uh, pendant. And I can do uh, $22 on this one. And then this next one is pretty awesome. This is sterling silver chain long chain box chain and the end of it is this gorgeous sterling silver and turquoise beaded cross and here's the back of it and i could do this necklace for 65 dollars it's a lot of sterling and stone but beautiful turquoise. Isn't it beautiful? And 
And I like the the way it, the sterling is carved inside like that. Gorgeous piece. So I have that one. And Randy says, it sure looks like midnight uh, fire to me. Oh, I got this bracelet. I forgot. This one is sterling silver. This one is uh, Indonesia. And this is signed Lois Hill. And I know always hear Ro talking about Lois Hill jewelry. That it's beautiful. It's um, this. I'll get the measurement on it for you. But it's a really beautiful design. And I would start the bid at $50, 50 if there's any interest in this bracelet. Let me get the measurement. It is seven inches, just a little over seven inches in length. That's Lois Hill. I have that one. And then this one, I put on a huge, I mean, not a huge, well, yeah, it's pretty big. Lo, the lo, It's really long, I meant to say. A box chain sterling silver. And on it is this gorgeous, uh, humongous, uh, beautiful, beautiful egg yolk amber spider pendant. Huge piece, huge chunk of egg yolk amber. This necklace came straight from Poland. And if there's any interest, I'm going to do a deal this time. I'm going to drop it uh, by $20. So I'm going to ask a start bid of $480. If there's any interest in this one. And I, I was selling an amber lot uh, for $1,200 which included this necklace and a bunch of other amber pieces. So if this doesn't sell, just let me know. Oh, you're in, interested in that one, uh, Paula? Thank you. Okay, Lois Hill, $50. Let me start calling that down for you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you so much, Paula. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, it's an awesome one. <laughs> I can't believe nobody got the or pause. Can I tempt you guys once more? Gorgeous ancient Roman glass. You want the or pause. You do. <laughs> and then I have this. Oh, wait. This is a native sterling silver. It's got the liquid silver beads. And then you have these heavy, heavy fetish necklace uh, sterling beads. It has a turtle, the fish, the birds. It's very weighty. It, like these are so um, solid sterling silver pieces. And I could do this for 120. I saw one of these on eBay for like a thousand dollars. I was like, are you kidding me? <laughs> but yeah, so that's available. Yes, and tested. Of course, my friend, of course. Do you guys like that um, black house, white house market? Am I saying it right? Um, this is a necklace. It's glass beads. Good night, Deborah. Have a great. We're gonna have a good show tomorrow. It's gonna be fun. We have black. It's all. This is all glass beads. And then it has these dangles on the bottom, but it's a beautiful necklace. I could do this for twelve dollars. White House, Black House Market. That's what it's called. And they're all glass. All glass beads. <laughs> <laughs> 
it's really nice. Yeah. Nice, nice, nice. Very classy. So we have that. And it's owned by Chico's. Oh. There was. Oh, and then I have this figurine, which is cool. This is um, black. I believe this is um, black onyx because it doesn't have a sheen to it. Like it doesn't shine, but it's a sign piece. It's carved totem. See the fish hanging from his mouth? And it's nice and heavy. And it's signed on the back. Made by Arthur... Arthur Moody. Obsidian onyx, not to have a silvery appearance. Ah. Oh. And this is the bottom part. But it's very, it's very heavy, black stone. And I could do this one for $70 if there's any interest in this figurine. See, I used to go to estate sales and get objects like this. Um, and then it turned from objects to sterling silver and then costume. But I don't sell objects like this anymore. But I just have them left over, so that's why I'm offering them. But yeah, it's a cool piece. If you need measurements, let me know. And I can get it for you. Next, I have... 70. Oh, you're into it, Carol Bloom. Okay, thank you, my friend. Where's my... I'm going to get a measurement for you, for uh, just so you know. It is... Five inches. Five inches, Carol. Five inches in length. Okay. And Randy ain't messing around. She's like, I'm calling it. <laughs> thank you, sold to Carol. Thank you, Carol. Thank you, Randy. It's awesomeness. If, thank you so much. That's awesome. I love that piece too. Anyone uh, collect YSL, Yves Saint Laurent. <laughs> I like trying to say it. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent, Yves Saint Laurent, uh, France. These are uh, clip on earrings. And here's the, wait, how are they going? This way. Wait, this way. So they're the crystal earrings. I would start the bid at $100 if any interest in these. These are YSL. Clip on earrings. There's the back. They got a nice clip on them. Yeah, beautiful, huh? <laughs> yeah, so those are available. $100 starting bid. And then I have this. Haleashi Niobium Metal uh, Bracelet. And um, I will start the bid on this one at $40. This is Niobium Metal by Haleashi. And this one is seven, seven inches. There was something. Oh, here it is. I have these. Um, these are a huge, probably 1980s or 90s, uh, Givenchy. 
Clip on earrings. Oh, Sherry's in for 40. For the Haleyashi. Got it, Sherry. Let me call it for you. Or or Randy. <laughs> Randy's doing it, huh? <laughs> Randy's going once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And Randy says soul to Sherry. Slow it down, Stephen. Okay, I'm sorry, Suzanne. I will. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, Holly Ashi. Let me type it in the chat. That's how it that's how it reads, Sherry. And it's niobium metal. Oh sure, no problem. Yeah, um, Purple Rain got my last Haleyashi earrings, and they look similar to the bracelet also. Congrats, congrats. I have these Givenchy uh, earrings. They're, they're heavy, very weighty clip-on earrings. Here's the bottom. Givenchy Paris. The only thing with these, I think it's on one earring. Where is it at? Oh, there's a discoloration on the bottom right there. So I don't know if you guys would still be interested in that. I don't know if you can paint that, but it has discoloration at the very bottom. But I still wanted to show them in case there was somebody who wanted these. I'll do these for $20 starting bid for Givenchy. And it's only because of that part. But you would need to paint that gold if you wanted these. They're, they're, they're hefty. They're, they're, they're large. Um, Oh, and then I have this piece. Now, I never, I don't, I just don't have the time, guys. I don't have the time to research this. All I know is what it's worth to me. So I'm going to offer it at this price. And if not, I'll just try to list it online. But it's a very unusual necklace. And here it goes. It starts off like this. And it has these green stones inside. And it goes on forever and ever and ever like that. This is what the back looks like. <laughs> Trying to sh like push it back because everything's in the way with this uh, wheel, wheel spinner. I'm gonna ask a hundred dollars on this starting bit, but it's made with stone an unusual metal that I don't know. No, not Sterling Ronnie. This, sorry, Ronnie, Randy. No, not, not Sterling Randy. It is some kind of metal, but it has real stone in, in the set. And I just don't have time to research it. So I'm just going to offer it for a hundred. But if there's no interest, that's okay. I can list it on eBay and just try to guess what, see what they'll go for it. 
Hey, JJ, how are you doing? How was the wedding? This pendant is some kind of a base metal. It's not sterling either. But look at how cool that stone is. What's so unusual about this stone is it looks like you can see straight through, straight through it. But obviously you can't because it's blocked. But that's how the it looks to me. How about $10 start bid on this one if there's any interest? The wedding, oh, it's in August. I thought it was now, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's a neat agate, right? I like it. Mosin for 10. Go in once. Go in twice. Oh, Sherry's in for 12. Good deals, right, Jay? Thank you, JJ. Moen at 13, Sherry's in at 15. Moe's in at 16. Sherry's in at 18. Moe's in at 20. Out, Sherry says out. Thank you, Sherry, for your bids. I'll start calling it for Mo. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold to Mo. Thank you so much. And thank you for your bids. I have this. Beautiful turquoise stone bracelet. Oh, Marlene, you're going to buy that for Mo? Congrats. Oh, gift alert. Awesome. You're so sweet. Let me write that down. What a sweetheart, Marlene. Gift from Mo. Okay. Gift to Mo from Marlene. I'm writing it down right now so I don't forget. <laughs> How awesome. Being positive vibes, yes, I agree. Positive vibes. <laughs> Marlene bought uh, the pendant for Mo. How how sweet! And this this uh, turquoise bracelet. I'll start it at twenty if there's any interest. It's got silver tone findings that look like sterling and these beautiful chunky green turquoise stones. The length on this one is, looks like J. King, it does, right, Marlene? This one is seven and a half inches. Seven and a half inches, but you know the chunky stones are going to probably make it fit more like seven. So that's available. And just let me know. Then I got this JJ brooch. It's got a mirror. Oops. And I drop it. And it's signed JJ. I could do this brooch for $8.
great gift to give to your hairstylist or salon friend. JJ Brooch. Then Purple Rain's in for eight. Okay, let me get that back for Purple Rain. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And soul to Purple Rain. Thank you, my friend. Oh yeah. Oh purple rain, you just remember you just you'd have a friend that's a hairstylist. Oh awesome, awesome. That that would be a nice gift. Let me show you this really quick purple rain. Um eight dollars purple rain. Okay. So these earrings. Where did it go? It's here, it's here, it's here. Here they are. Got them, got them, got them. Look at purple rain. These match the necklace. They are sterling silver pearls. They're signed, that expensive guy that you guys said last time. It's signed AK or Ace. No, sorry, YV. And they're post stearings, pearls. How about $35 on these ones? No pressure for boring, but I'm just asking if if you are interested in these. Thirty, these are thirty-five. You want them? Okay. <laughs> so I'll call it down for you then. Go ahead, purple rain. If you can put thirty-five in the chat, just so we we have it. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Ready, said it. <laughs> Thank you for pouring. Yeah, I just wanted to make sure. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. And then last time. I showed this beauty, and I'm also going to bring it down. This is also going to be, it's a massive sterling silver amber bracelet straight from Poland. I was asking 500. I'm going to drop it by 20. So now it's going to be $480. And I can get a weight on it for you. And the size, seven and a quarter is the size. But it's got a massive Art Deco sterling silver, amber bracelet. And it's got a nice hinge on the side, safety hinge. And see the design, the like hammered look, it's gorgeous. Thank you, JJ. <laughs> I have these gorgeous. These are like peacock colored sterling silver post earrings. Look at look at the colors on these. See the peacock green? They are sterling silver post. Uh, I can do these for $24 starting bid if there's any interest in these. Look at the, the beautiful luster on the pearls. But they're gorgeous. Oops. And I dropped it. I dropped it. Purple Rain's in for 24. Thank you, Purple Rain. Where did my... It's melted in my sea of jewelry. Purple Rain, I'll call it. <laughs> Here's one for you, Purple Rain. You're like Randy. Randy's missing one too. <laughs> Going once. Going twice. Fair warning. 
and sold. And you, I promise, Purple Rain, you'll get both, just like Randy. <laughs> Actually, Randy says she's only paying 50% until she gets the other one. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I'll be hunting after the show for sure for both things. Yeah. Oh, you want the llama? The the little llama was only two dollars. Purple rain. <laughs> you got it, my friend. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning, and sold. Yeah, I believe I said two dollars. So you got it for two bucks. Awesome, awesome. I apologize, guys. I was getting out some more sterling pieces, and I just wanted to make sure I have them here. So I'm ready to show them. These are more sterling pieces. Oh, the bows. I forgot about the bows. There's the other bow. they keep sneaking away from me darn it okay this is what i was looking for the the other one <laughs> there's sterling silver and the other one is hiding from me in a pile of sterling i'm gonna get be more organized next time i'm gonna have actual sterling pockets of jewelry uh for earrings um, but the, this is the set. They're, they have marcasites. Marcasites on them like this. And then the beautiful crystal that hangs on the bottom. Here's the back. And these are a sterling post. So you're going to get both of the beautiful earrings. And uh, if you're interested, I would start the bid at $30. Oh, 
on these ones. They're gorgeous. Thank you for pouring. Now I owe you two pairs of uh, missing earrings. <laughs> they're not missing, they're here. I'm just joking. But yeah, okay, go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you for pouring. They're beautiful. They're going to sparkle, sparkle, sparkle. Um, where's that? Is the rain? Oop. Oh, oh, Marlene said five dollar. <laughs> five plastic opal pearl earrings opal pearl earrings which ones were those marlene opal pearl earrings was it from earlier because i have a all my earrings are in here let me see what this thing Oh, Purple Rain, here's your little llama. <laughs> I found him right now. <laughs> oh. Brass-like plastic opal dangle. Oh, I know what you're talking about. Now I know what you're saying, Marlene. It's, is it, was it these? They're a gunmetal color. That's the, like a black gunmetal gun or gray gunmetal. You want those? Here's the other one. Yes. Okay. You got it. And these are $5. Okay. Let me call that. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Marlene. I think that's the quickest I've ever found something, right, Marlene? <laughs> I have this um, really cool necklace. It is sterling silver, and they have these gorgeous droplets of labradorite. But what's unusual about this is they put um, faux pearls on here, which doesn't make any sense at all. I don't get it, because it's sterling silver and beautiful stones. Let me show you. It's a necklace that's open, by the way. It doesn't have a closure, but all of these little rings are sterling. And on each each uh, strand, you have, look at that beautiful flash, faceted little droplets of teardrops of labradorite. And the necklace goes on forever. It's like so long to measure but it goes on and on and on and on and on. But see what I mean? Look, at it has all those little droplets, little crystals, and these are all labradorites, like that. So if I show it all together, it looks like this. So you can possibly take those off and make earrings or a, a different type of necklace but it's all sterling material, that all the metal's sterling. And if you're interested in this necklace, I would start the bid at $30. So 
So it would be like a project necklace. But the stones are so pretty. And if not, I might try myself at making something with those stones. That's true. I agree also, Randy. I think so. It just needs an outer outer part to close it. I mean, like, you know, a closer on it. Oh, Carol wants it. Okay, Carol, I'll call it for you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. Add some aqua drops. Oh. Look at these beautiful earrings. What do you guys think this is? They're silver tone wire wrapped. And the stone kind of reminds me, is it Unikite? Or something different? There's the back. How about $6 start bid on these? Marlene's in for six. Sherry came in at six. Oh, like reconstituted. Sherry's in for eight. Marlene's in for 10. You don't see Marlene, Randy? Yeah, Marlene's at 10. <laughs> yeah, the green color is so beautiful. That's okay, Randy. As you know, I make way more mistakes than Miss Randy. <laughs> okay, out. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Marlene, and I'll call it for Sherry. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Sherry, and thank you so much, Marlene. Okay. Exactly, Suzanne. <laughs> Let's show a ring this time. I haven't shown this one before. It's sterling silver. And it's a size seven. Ooh, on the dot, size seven, size seven ring. It's a beautiful, I've never had one of these before, hematite on the ring. I've always seen it on like brooches or earrings, but not on a, not on a ring. Um, where's the, So it has marcasites. There's the hematite on top. Looks like a really old ring. <laughs> <laughs> Randy. <laughs> um, I will do $30 start bid if there's any interest in this ring.
Size seven. And that one. There was also, then I have, look at these, um, cowboy pants. It's a charm, sterling silver. How about $12 on this one? What are they called? They're not spurs. What is it called? What are those, Randy? The pants? Chaps. Thank you, chaps. It's called chaps. Yes, yes. <laughs> so these are sterling silver chaps for $12. <laughs> oh, this ring too. Let me show this one. This is sterling silver vermeil, also size 7. And this is a beautiful orange sapphire with uh, beautiful orange opals on, on each side. And I would start the bid at $50 if there's any interest in this one. And the ring is signed. Oh, the size on this one, JJ? This is a size seven. Size seven. Look at how beautiful that orange stone. This is saf a orange sapphire, and those are orange opals. And the, the ring is vermeil. Fifty. Thank you, JJ. Awesome. I'll call it going once. Going twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, JJ. Awesome. Awesome. Where's my paper? Oh, awesome. I can't wait for you to get it. Thank you, JJ. I have these two vintage... Um, they are not sterling. They're just some type of metal. But if there's someone who collects Celtic, I have this Celtic pendant like this. And then I have this Celtic pendant. Here's the back. It's a, not a pendant. Sorry, brooch. This is a brooch. This is a pendant. So I can do a $5 starting bid for choice. Any interest in either one? Carol's in at five, and then I see Randy in. Randy's at six. Carol's out. Thank you, Carol. I'll start calling it. Go in once, go in twice. Fair warning and sold. And which one or ones would you like, Miss Randy?
I am greedy, both. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Randy. <laughs> Thank you also, Carol, for your bid. This is a signed Bars 925 uh, N findings. So this is a Bars necklace. These are carved mother of pearl beads on a memory wire necklace. Again, this dang thing's in the way so I can't show you like I normally would. But it fits any size neck and it's memory wire. Uh, sterling silver. And if any interest, I would ask, I'm going to drop it by $5. So $25 start bid. This is a Bars necklace. On that one. And then I have... I have these three costume uh, bracelets and I'll do starting bid $5 for choice. We have one that has pink metal roses and pink rhinestones. Then we have this one which has these beautiful glass stones and it's like a stretchy bracelet and then you have this one which is hematite and then you have different colored cat's eye beads like green and they're stretch they're all stretchy so these the size would be seven and this bracelet's actually signed avon the rose one is avon so they're they're all seven This one has some wear on it right there. I just noticed right here. See, the gold has come off on this one. I probably wouldn't have put it up if I saw that. I just saw it now. Hey, Mike. Mike's in. Hey, Mike. How are you doing? Mike has... You have jewelry bucks, Mr. Mike. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Which one would you like, Mr. Mike? So you like jewelry. Rose, got it. Okay, good choice. Thank you. Thanks so much, Mike. I got that for you. Let me write that down. And you got it for free. Okay, great. Congrats, congrats. I have a Begay ring, Native American. And this one is sign. J. Begay. And it's got this really cool like story ring watch
So it goes on and on like that. Really cool. Um, so if any interest in this ring, I will get the size first. This is a size seven. Just about a size seven. And I'll do the starting bit at 45, if there's any interest on that one. It's J. Begay. We have that. I have this gorgeous, gorgeous bracelet. It is sterling silver. And I have, I'm not because I said I was getting my machine calibrated. I can't test to see if these are CZs or actual stones, gemstones. But this is, in fact, sterling silver. It almost looks like Marzana's Judith Ripka bracelets. It has a cool little snap. See where it opens up there. It's marked S925. Has this design on it. This one, $30 dainty ring necklace gold filled with clear light gemstones. Please take your time. Okay. Thank you, Marlene. Let me see. I'm going to try to measure this one. This was, this uh, bracelet is new. So this would be just about a size seven. And if any interest in this one, I will do 120. Oh, and in case somebody uh, missed what I was showing earlier, um, I have this gorgeous, gorgeous, um, heavy sterling silver weaved basket. Um, that's okay, Marlene. No problem, my friend. This is a sterling silver basket weaved. It's about two inches across. And um, online, I was searching these go closer to the $500 mark. And I'm asking $200 if there's any interest in it. It weighs, I think, 60 something grams. It weighs 66 grams, 66 grams. And it's sterling silver basket weave cuff. And it goes to almost two inches across. Yeah. So this is available. I'm just let me know. And then Marlene said $30 dainty ring necklace gold filled with light clear gemstones. Oh, which one was that? Was it earlier, earlier, Marlene, when I showed that one? But if it didn't sell, I definitely have it for you.
Oh, that's the one. You're talking about the gold filled. The gold filled with, um, Randy said it looked like Prajolite, the stone at the bottom. Is that the one, Marlene? I think that, that was it. If that's the one for sure. Yes, please. Okay, you got it, Marlene. I'll call it down. Go in one. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Marlene. That's a that's a nice one. Where was the other piece I was gonna? Oh, here's the other one. Remember earlier I was telling you, show her, show it to her to play it safe. Okay, deal, 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 deal. Da, 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 da. Voila. Wait. <laughs> Miss Marlene Gold filled. Gorgeousness, gorgeousness. Awesome. Okay, you got it. Let's see. Here's that other necklace I was telling you about that it looks similar to the little one. It's sterling silver, and it's got these beautiful uh, crystals in between the sterling silver. That has a little... Um, I got to un unknot it and on the end part is this beautiful pearl i think it's the other the opposite it goes this way and then see how they dangle at the bottom i could do this necklace for 25 dollars starting bid and i could get a length on it Marlene is in at 25. I'm going to get the length for you, Marlene. If I could get my measuring tape. I can't wait to show you the other pieces I got. They're coming up. Let's see. Here's the next one. This is... Okay, Marlene. So this necklace goes to... The longest it can go is 15 and a half inches. So it would be like... Kind of like a collar necklace. Is that, is that okay, Marlene? 15 and a half inches? And you may be able to add an extender if you want it longer. But it's beautiful. That's real pearls. I mean, real pearl, yeah. All right. Let's see. Going once. You're adding an extension. Oh, good, good, good. Going once, going twice. I need to get more of those. Fair warning and sold. Thank you, Marlene. Okay, this one is really cool. This is costume stone necklace. 
it's vintage gold tone and look at the awesomeness on the bottom you have this gorgeous stone and here's the back of the pendant it looks like this and I would ask $20 start bid on this necklace It's a gorgeous, gorgeous stone. What would you say on this one, Randy? It's a spotted something, right? <laughs> it reminds me of like a, I forgot the name of that. Oh, Mosen for 20. I'll start calling it. It's an agate for sure. Okay. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Mo. Yeah, the colors are pretty awesome. Have you seen this before, Randy? I can't wait. To show you this one this is a mega long 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 necklace they look like see what do you call it sea glass beads but i don't think so does this look familiar to you they are like they're all knotted Has that stone on the bottom. They, so basically, it's the, uh, I forgot what they call that kind of necklace where it's long and it drapes and hangs over and it goes like this. See, where the, the two hang on the bottom like that. So you like wrap it so many times around. Matt, yes. And almost, but see, it, it's, it looks like it's an actual stone, but it looks like sea glass. It feels like sea glass. And it just go it just uh, goes on forever. See the colors? They really complement each other. The different colors of them. It's super long. I'll do $30, $30 start if there was any interest in this one. But again, it, it, it hangs with these two little tassel-like pieces at the bottom. And then really long. And if you want a measurement, I can get it. Yeah. Like some kind of quartz. Yeah, and it has a, a different look that that's what makes me not want to call it sea glass because, because there are some parts of the bead that just look like a special stone or something. Yeah, like candy, right? <laughs> I've got more. This one is cool. This one. This is a sterling uh, necklace. And it has this mark. I don't know if you guys know who that is. It's uh, the sterling is patina, so it needs uh, like a cleaning. But it has these rainbow seed beads, glass beads, and then you have these awesome beads here. Some crystals, some glass beads, 
and then this big chunky labradorite stone. It's like a nice big, big size stone. I could start the bid on this at $24. The ovals are black labradorite. These little beads are cool. They're like little, um, like pearls are inside of the plastic or something. It's weird. It's a gorgeous necklace. That one. How about a brooch? Butterfly enameled with these little, little jingle jangles. How about five dollars? That one. I've got this gorgeous Swarovski crystal swan bracelet. It's got these beautiful, it's like knots and all the pave crystals. There's the swan mark right there in the center. I could do this bracelet for $40. Oh yeah, the butterfly was five dollars. And this bracelet is a size seven. Did you want the butterfly, Randy? That one is butamus. Um Oh, look at this one. This is a sterling silver. Freshwater pearl necklace. And it has a piece of coral and a jumbo beautiful pearl at the bottom. And I could do this necklace for a start bit of $40. Isn't that one at the bottom cool? I know that David Yerman has a pendant that I had from him before. Oh, how much longer? Probably. I'm just showing until you guys have no interest. How about that? <laughs> when you guys stop, then I'll stop. <laughs> But look, at, it's got a little rondelle right in the middle between the coral bead and that one. Okay, so I have that. Then I have this, which is a toggle, toggle bracelet. Purple Rain says, uh-oh. <laughs> this toggle bracelet, I mean, not a bracelet, necklace. They have amethyst beads with crystals in between, and it goes on and on and on. Then it has this lampwork glass heart. Isn't that beautiful? And it see the design? Like It's almost like it was painted on, but it's glass. And then here's the other side. And I could do this one for $24. And I can get a length on it for you. Okay, I need to do something, and I'll be back. Okay, Randy. Thank you, my friend. I'm going to measure this in case there's any interest. This measures uh, almost 19 inches. Just under, yeah, almost 19 inches.
Marlene's in for 24. I'll start calling it. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Marlene. Oh, the bag. I've had this one for a while, so I'm going to lower the price on it. This is a Carolyn Pollock couple uh, pendant. It's sterling silver. I'll ask $25 for this. $25. This is Carolyn Pollock. This is kind of cool. This is a Lucky Brand costume bracelet. I could do this one for $8. This one, this has got a cool little clasp too. See how it snaps open like that. This one measures seven and a quarter. Where is the let's see? These are uh, signed earrings. They're marked 14K by P. Skeet. P. Is in Paul Skeet Sterling. Hey, Lisa, how you doing? Oh. I did go, I forgot to tell you guys, I'm such a nerd. I did go to the emergency room like you guys told me to. I went. And what they found out is that it it's like a sprain is what it is. And they gave me medication and it works a little bit, but it's still like there. So it's annoying. It's that, it's when I fell. And, um, but yeah, I definitely feel better than what I did when it first happened. Um, but yeah, it was crazy. So these are beautiful, but see the, the 14k is like basically the overlay on, on that part. They're like Aztec looking style earrings or native and they're signed P skeet. I can do these ones for a $30 start bid. If there's any interest in these. Yeah. Movement. Exactly. You know what I find helps to on the feet part is to get a bottle and like roll your feet on the like on the bottle that that does help too on those i also have these really cool ones these are gray pearls they're sterling silver post earrings and these swivels right here's the back And I can do these ones uh, for $25. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. <laughs> How are you doing, my friend? Marlene came in and then Purple Rain. 
Yeah, they have uh, little marcosites, kind of like shining diamonds. Thank you, Lisa. Okay, out to purple. Thank you so much. And I'll start calling it. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. You know what? I'm going to show something to you. Um, I just think it's such a cool idea, but I'm going to show you. Let's see. Uh, that is purple rain. Okay. Mark this down. Oh, you have a doctor's appointment in the morning? Well, prayers to you, Lisa. I will, I'm doing it now. I just prayed for you. So I hope everything goes well with your, ow, with your, uh, see that hurt right now, <laughs> with your appointment. So prayers to you, my friend, Lisa. Because prayers work, they really do. Oh. There is something I was going to show was coming up here. Where is that? Okay, so here's what I was going to show you, guys. This is the Yi Saint Laurent brooch. It's a cameo. Signed YSL. Made in France. And what I was going to tell you is, originally, this brooch did have a dangle pearl, faux pearl, and I still have it, but it's it's been um, peeled, so I took it off because it had it it had an ugly peeling to it, right? But look what I found. This black dangle. What do you guys think of me attaching this to this? Doesn't that look even better than a? I think it would look better than the original. What do you guys think? So I would, right? I think it looks a lot better than it would with the Dangle Pro that was there. And I wish it wasn't damaged, but it was. The Pro was like completely skinned, the faux Pro. But this I found on a, vin this came from a vintage earring set and it matches the black part of that. So I would add a, a matching gold a jump ring to attach this to this, and it would dangle like that. So I was just showing you guys. But um, I plan to list this once I do that. But if there's any interest in it, I would sell this for 100 If there was any interest in it. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do that and see how it, see how it does. But yeah, thank you guys for your feedback. I wanted to know what you guys thought of that. And where's my... Oh, look at this ring. I forgot to show you guys this. This is a size 7. And this is a really chunky sterling silver ring, a flower. And the tip part of it is like a... Um, what is it called? An agate, like a faceted agate. So it's, it's pretty unusual, and I found it, and there was no markings on it. I couldn't find any markings on this at all. Oh, my God, Purple Rain, you want it? <laughs> awesome. Okay, I will do it, and I'm going to uh, show you pictures of it 
when I do it, Purple Rain. So you can let me know if you want any changes to it or you want it to be, you know, until it's to, to your liking. So definitely. Okay, cool. Thank you. Oh my God. Okay, let me count down. Going once, going twice. Fair warning. And I'll also include the original pearl just so you can have it, just so you know that, that that's what really belonged to it. So I'll, I'll include both. Uh, that way you can, you know, keep it for reference. So, you know, thank you so much. Awesome. So, um, thank you. Thank you. That's awesome. Thanks for point. So the, this ring here, um, I would do this for 35 because it's a lot of sterling. But it's unusual. It's not, it's like kind of gaudy-ish, kind of big. Sticks out a lot. <laughs> thank you, thank you. This bracelet I've shown before, this is a Mylor Italy. I think these are Jaguars. Do you guys think that? They're biting like on a key. And it's signed Mylor Italy. This is 950 sterling silver, 950. It's signed right there. This um, bracelet, let me see. It's it's a big one. It is uh, seven and three quarters. Seven and three quarters, yeah. Seven and three quarters. Oh wait, I apologize guys, it's not seven and three quarters. It is oh no, it is. It's like eight and in, eight inches. It's eight inches. So it's on the bigger side. It's on the bigger side. Eight inches is what it is. Um, if there's any interest in this bracelet, I will do um seventy-five dollars on this one. my lore italy and marlene's in okay marlene i'll call it thank you so much this is awesome go in once and that's a good deal too i think i i put it 50 dollars less than what it goes for so you got a good deal going once going twice fair warning and salt thank you marlene it's awesome and the sterling is mega shiny because it's I guess it's a higher higher content of sterling let's see what is there's Marlini oh yeah I, they make the best uh, sterling jewelry I love my lore Italy Thank you, Marlene. Awesome, awesome. I think this, oh, okay, guys, ready for this? This is an antique. This is a very old, gold-filled, I believe this is an eyeglass holder. I could be wrong, but that's what it looks like to me. And it's a brooch. This is the back. And I would do this for $30. If there's any interest in this one.
Do you guys think that's what this is? An eyeglass holder? Carol Bloom's in. Thank you, Carol. I think it is. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Carol. Sharon! My Sharon Bolte, how are you doing, my friend? Welcome, welcome. And also, Sharon, happy belated birthday. I found out via the internet that it was your birthday because of a posting by, um, what is her name? The, the one from London, England, she said happy birthday to you, Sharon. And I was like, oh, I'm going to tell Sharon happy birthday when she comes. So happy belated birthday. <laughs> oh, my God. I just got this weird thing on the side right here. Ah. Okay, this is really weird. Look at this, guys. This is a stick pin. But it has a face lady on here. And it's probably resin or some kind of very old plastic. But it it's like a brass, see? Brass stick pin. How about $12 start bid? It looks old for sure. If any interest in that one. Yeah, Dana from England, exactly. She's got some uh, good stuff. Sherry's in for 12. And I'll start calling it. Go in once. Oops. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold to Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. It's really cool. I like that one. I need, I need you guys, my stonologists, <laughs> to let me know what you guys think this stone is. But it is green. Looks like this. With a string, of course, I have to cut it off. Uh, but sterling findings in between. And this green... see that so the whole necklace is stone but they have those little beads in between are little glass beads Jake King looking too right <laughs> beautiful color Uh, I could do this one for a $25 start bid. But it's all stone. And, uh, of course, with the glass seed beads. They're matching to match the color of the stone, like a greenish color. With sterling finding. Serpentine, maybe. Hi, Angela. Some kind of moss agate. Yeah, the the big one, right? Go in once. 
go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you so much, Marlene. It's beautiful. Now, this is a big necklace full of lots of treasures. It has black glass beads. You have these things, which I don't know what they are. Then you have blue stone, lapis stone. Then you have some kind of a, looks like a glass bead. Also like a stone in a way too. And then you have sponge coral, cloisonne bead, another stone, two stone beads, another stone bead, and then cinnabar. But this one's interesting because this cinnabar has inlaid cloisonne inside the cinnabar. So that's pretty cool. And it's carved, see it? And then more stone. Another cloisonne. And this big giant, uh, I think this might be carved bone. Looks like bone. And it's dyed. And then like that at the end. So it's, it's really cool. It's eh, like an ethnic artisan awesomeness necklace. I will do this for $30 start bid. If there was any interest in this one. I have this, uh, this is the um, black obsidian, uh, snowflake obsidian. It's, they're all knotted. It's a long necklace. And it's like one long strand. I could do this one for $20. And it's, it's long. If you need a measurement, I can get it for you. And in fact, it's more like more more like an agate. See that? But it looks like snowflake obsidian. This one is heavy, heavy. This is a big one. This is really thick hematite beads. Also knotted with freshwater pearls. And this is a big long one too. I could do this one for $20. These are big balls, as Marzana calls them. <laughs> Did you hear Marzana the other day what she was saying? I think it was on her channel. That silly woman. Okay, so we have that. And what was the other... This one is a faux pearl, 1928, and I can do this one for $8, $8. 
Oh, Marlene wants it. <laughs> it's in good, great condition also, the faux pros. Okay, go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Marlene. Oops. Oh, for your friends in Ethiopia. How cool. I want you have to tell me, Marlene, when she gets those earrings you said. The remember the dangle ones? How she likes them. This is a sterling silver um, snowflake brooch slash pendant. So you can wear it as a pendant or a brooch pin. A little too early for Christmas, but hey, why not? I'll do a start bit of $20 on this one. The only mark on it is 925. I didn't see like a maker's mark or anything. Or did I? <laughs> oh. Wait. Does that say MMA? Gosh, I can't see. Something. Okay. <laughs> okay, and then, oh, Carol's in. Let me call it for Carol. Thank you, Carol. Go in once. Go in twice. I had my eyes glued on the screen. Uh, fair warning. Thailand. Thank you, Suzanne. And sold. Thank you, thank you. I showed these earlier. They're sterling silver post earrings. And I think I was asking 40. Um, I'll go down to 30 if there's any interest in these. Hey, Aaron. How you doing, Mr. Proctor? I forgot about this amazing bracelet. How did I forget? Let me show this one. This amazing Native American sterling silver bracelet has the sh sugar light. It has the opals. It has the turquoise. And it's signed uh, Silversmith's the na native uh, brand. It's got fold over clasp. And the hallmark is right here. Oops, backwards. right here and um, this I'll get a measurement on it but if there's any interest I would start the bid at 150 on this one but it's beautiful look at the opal turquoise this one measures six 
six and three quarters. It's like under seven inches, six and three quarters. So it is on the smaller side. So I'd have to find someone with a tiny, a smaller wrist. Yeah, it's a, it's a gorgeous one. And then I have this, which I think is like a jasper stone. It's sterling silver pendant. It's a beautiful stone, though. Look at the colors in there, the red and the yellow. Almost like a jas like a bumblebee jasper. Because of the yellow colors. I could do this one for $30 starting bid. Yeah, def I would say definitely a Jasper. Thank you, Suzanne. I think I think it's like a Jasper. And I've shown this before. This is sterling silver, a Mexico tiger's eye bracelet. And I'm asking $45 start bid on this. And this one uh, weighs, how much does this weigh? Thirty four grams. This one weighs thirty four grams. Night, Aaron. Thanks so much, my friend, for stopping by. And again, this or pause is available still. Sterling silver ancient Roman glass. This was $60. I'm going to drop it to 55. 55. Ancient Roman glass. And this was the one signed QT Sterling Silver. And it's a beautiful long native. I was asking 130, I'll do 120 if there's any interest in it. Native liquid silver necklace signed QT. Yeah, Mar I was checking in with Marzena to make sure I was putting it at a right, the right price there. I also have this, which is a fluorite tower. And it's still got its point there. And I could do this for $20. For any of the stone collectors. These are costume, but they're nice. Oh, Carol likes it. Okay. For the fluorite. I'll call that for you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. 
and sold. Thank you, Carol. It's an awesome piece. I have, um, oh, speaking of stones, I just remember this one too. If anybody is looking for a huge amethyst, um, this one is $50, $50, five zero, if there's any interest in this one. But it's a, it's a gorgeous, huge paperweight. You can also use it as a display in your home to put your jewelry on top of it or that kind of a thing. But look, at it's a natural. And it's it's very heavy, very, very heavy. But it's am amethyst heart. So that's available. I also have this. It's simulated opal. So this isn't real opal, it's simulated. And it's with CZs, it's a bracelet. It has this little thing that says so. It's a tennis bracelet, simulated opal and CZ tennis bracelet. It's not sterling. It's like a plated costume or cost, costume metal, kind of like that. And I would do this one for $10 starting bid if any interest but look how weird it does look like real opal but it's simulated i have that one Hey, Kelly, how you doing? Nice to see you, Kelly. Hope you're well, my friend. The, um, these are uh, hematite earrings. They're clip-on. They're, they're large, as you can see. Th this is by the designer Ben Amun. And they're clip-ons. I can do these for 20. Any interest in those? Welcome in, Kelly. There was something. That's good to hear, Kelly. Do you have any 24 inch roll or larger beads chains by chance? Ah, I was showing a necklace earlier with the Rolo chain, but I don't remember the length so i'll have to look at it let me see i think it i found it it's right here but let me see the length it was this one kelly this is the chain and i have it on this uh awesomeness it's a gorgeous sterling silver quartz pendant and I was asking uh, $60 for this necklace. But the, the quartz is unusual because you see the red, the like peachy color inside. But I'm, I'll get the measurement. If this is the type of Rolo you're looking for, I can see what this, the length is. This one is 
17 and 5 eighths. It's just over, uh, just over 17 and a half inches. Just over 17 and a half inches. So I don't know if this is, oh, but you want 24 inches. Yeah, too short then. But I'll keep looking out for you for sure. <laughs> Purple ring. <laughs> She's like, I'm back. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'll look and also I'll let Mar Mar Mar. I was gonna say Marlene. <laughs> See Marlene. <laughs> I'll let Marzena know, so she can look out for one too. Oh, I found the other earring. I was looking for that one. Okay, now, I have this Southwestern style, non-sterling necklace on a barrel cl clasp. It has turquoise beads, and then it has the, like, horse that's running with a turquoise inlay, and it's just silver tone. But I can do this one for $8. Starting bid. Like, a, oh, there you go, Mustang. Yes, that's what I want to say, Mustang. <laughs> I also have this. This is a sterling silver Mexico brooch. Oh, size again. The length on this necklace is... It's that kind of necklace where you have to let it out for a while so it can straighten up. But it's 21 and a half inches. 21 and a half inches on this one. Were you interested in this one, Marlene? Eight, you said yes. Okay, cool. Thank you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you so much, Marlene. Let me put this in a bag for you. Here's the next piece. Oh, they bring good luck. Ah. Horse is racing home now. Oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> this one is, it says Hecho in, in Mexico, Sterling 925 with a little hallmark and some residue there. It's a very old brooch slash pendant. The only thing is, as you can see here, close up, it has been like squished or something where you can't open it. So you can't open this unless you do some kind of your own adjusting. Uh, but I'm just leaving it like that because it works perfect as a pendant. There it is there. 
the pendant part, but it's a giant uh, Aztec face piece. And I was asking $60 last time. I'll drop it down to $50 now. Five zero. If there's any interest. And it's almost like a 3D because the face pops out a little bit. And it's pretty big. On that one. I have this sterling silver native stone inlay um, Roadrunner bird. And I will ask $30 on this one. Oh, Anita, you want that brooch? Awesome. Thank you, Anita. Let me call that down for you. Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Anita. Awesome, awesome. Let me put that for Anita. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, it's so cool. The 3D effect and everything. So this, thanks Anita. This one is um, $30. This is a native vintage stone inlay uh, Roadrunner uh, pin, sterling silver. It's not signed or marked, but most of the native pieces are like that. Yeah, this one is 30. Mm -hmm. Did you want this one for pouring? I think, um, let me see in my, my bag of sterling. I believe there's another piece. Yes, okay. And then purple rain, I'm not trying to get you to buy this one either, but it's another one. Um, I will do 25 on the little on the little uh, uh, turtle and it's also like that one I just I was like oh but look at how cute you can wear it as a pendant <laughs> see but this one's actually signed look I don't know what it says it's Zuni for sure it says Zuni but um Oh yeah, so I'm sorry, I should have let, I'll do this one first and then the turtle after. Okay, so I'll call this one down at 30. Go in once, go in twice, fair warning, and sold for this one. Thanks for pouring. And then I'll do the next one for you. Okay, this one's 25. And I'll say go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. Thank you, Purple Rain. Awesome. Those are going to complement each other, the two brooches. <laughs> thank you and thank you. <laughs>
This is a um, glass AB uh, crystal with the rondelle and all these beautiful crystals that dangle on the bottom. This was actually a part of a necklace that broke, but I thought this was so beautiful. Why not keep this part and make a pendant out of it? So you can add like a jump ring and totally rock this as a pendant. So if there's any interest, it's just gold tone. I would do $8. Oh, Mo, I probably um, will have a few items more and then I'll be ending soon for sure. But I do have um, a lot more necklaces to show. Is there anything you were looking for in particular that I can show um, if, you, if you're interested? I can definitely try to see what I have. But I'll be on again with Miss Marzena. I'll be doing that on, um, well, for sure I'm there for her birthday. <laughs> but selling with Marzena will be on, um, what is today? Sun, uh, Sunday, Mon Thursday. I'll be with uh, showing again on Thursday. So. Brat will go on till someone says stop. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Randy's. So Randy's in. Carol retracted. Thank you both. And I'll start calling it. Okay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. <laughs> and sold. Thank you so much, Randy. Cool. And Carol. <laughs> Not that you can think of right now. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, uh, let me show you this really cool piece. Oh, let's see. $8, Randy. This is a native piece. It's solid sterling silver. And it's the uh, Kachina doll. with all the little the little kids and this is a solid sterling silver it's a brooch you can and also can be worn as a pendant it's sign o t t which is that native designer auto or ot and um this one goes pretty high online um but I'll ask a start bid of $50. If there's any interest in it. And it's small but mighty. It's it's, it's She's pretty heavy. Exactly. But just one more. Just one more. <laughs> so, Oh, I forgot. I was going to show these. Prayers at, for a speedy recovery, Suzanne. Yes. Where's Suzanne? Oh, you're going to go, Suzanne? Thank you so much. Yes, all prayers, and it will go well. And I will give, I am doing prayers for you right now. You have a surgery tomorrow. I just saw that right now. I didn't even see that before until they said it. Oh. Thank you so much. You're going to be fine. Remember, um, drink lots of water now because I know they're probably you're not going to be able to drink any in the morning. So hydrate as much as you can and sleep well. You will be fine, Suzanne, and let us know. Check in with us. These are lever back earrings it's just costume but i think it's like a nice one they have prong set red rhinestones with silver tone i could do these for five starting bid Those. 
these have some really cool beads in them. Yeah, after, oh yeah, you're right. Purple Rain after midnight, no eating or drinking. I forgot. Doi, Steven. <laughs> I like that barrel bead. Isn't that cool? It's like Jawa, how do you call it? Um, Indonesian beads with glass. Um, it's a stretchy, so, and it's seven. I could do this one for five. Jawa, thank you, Randy. Jawa beat, see? It's like a drum. Unusual pairing for beads, right? I thought, anyway. Then we have a seed bead extravaganza with lots of jangle jangles. And interesting, they put, um, what are those uh, snowflake obsidian beads at the bottom that dangle? How about $6 for this one? Unusual. This is a 1928 sign necklace, black metal. Nineteen twenty-eight. How about seven dollars? Each bead individually placed and soldered. Look at this one, Randy. This is a vintage necklace still with the strand, I mean string on it. These are glass, black glass beads and like clear ones. And it it's really long and it has these type of metal spacers. And it just goes on and on and on and on. How about $15 for this one? That's definitely a vintage one and older. And then look at this one. I thought this was funny. I'm like, oh my God, it's David Yearman in a costume. It's just costume, guys. It's not sterling, of course. But it reminds me <laughs> of Yerman. See? And it's... Whoa, did you see that? <laughs> it, like, made dust. Watch. I think that's from the magnet. Yeah, see that? How about seven dollars? And it smokes. <laughs> oh, not seven dollars, guys. It broke. I guess that's why it's cheap and you're supposed to buy the real David Yearman. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, not good. Okay, we're passing on that. For my for my artisan lovers, look at this. This is a amazing, heavy, heavy metal piece pendant. It's got some rusting on the balls. But it can be cleaned, I'm sure. And I will do this one for $30. 
But these are like heavy. These ones are super heavy. But could be great for an artisan piece necklace you're making. I know some people are into pieces like that. Then we have this brass artisan necklace. I could do this one for $20. This one is 14 karat gold, and these are carved labradorite and jade. These are jade beads and carved labradorite. And then you have 14 karat gold on the bottom, and then a beautiful carved jade pendant. And I could do this necklace for Oh, $70. Oh, yeah, let me show. And the whole thing is ice cold. It's got like a, it's like a lavender jade, the bottom one. And I've shown this before, but if there's anyone else watching, it's 14 karat gold. And this is Honora pearl, freshwater pearl and amethyst uh, necklace. And I can do this one for $80. I think I have a, a Honora Pearl sleeve I can put it in also. Look, it's a little, a little bag. And then I have this, which is black, black uh, glass cameo vintage pendant. It's humongous. I could do this one for forty dollars. And that one.
Oh, let's do the giveaway. <laughs> let's do the giveaway. Everyone put in hashtag sugar. And let's do a giveaway. Okay, so this will be my last piece. This is a gold filled art deco uh, amethyst and jade necklace. And this one I would ask $75 if there's any interest in this one. And it has the, the dangling jade and amethyst. It's a beautiful necklace. Any old sterling religious medals? Oh, I do have, uh, let me show you this, Barb, really quick. Where did I put it? Did I take it out? Oh, here it is. This, this one is a uh, very old sterling silver necklace. And this, I found out what it is. I did my research finally, and it's an antique, old, uh, uh, Celtic relic. So it is from uh, Ireland, and it has a relic. So it's a relic, a religious relic inside, of like a cross in in the in the middle part, in this like a saint inside, but it is all sterling silver. And I have it for a higher price, but I'm willing to let it go for $70 starting bid, if there's any interest. And you could kind of see inside. It's like encased. Barb's in. Thank you, Barb. <laughs> and Barb, I'm still looking for those pieces you told me about. So I'm still trying. I'm hunting. So I'll, hopefully I'll, I'll find some more beauties of those of that kind. Okay, let's go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And oops and sold thank you barb it is gorgeous yeah and i had to research to find out what it actually was because i'm like why is there something behind there i don't know what it is and it's a relic let's see i need to write that down for barb and let's do a giveaway thank you barb okay Okay, guys, you put in hashtag um, sugar, all lowercase. Ooh, I forgot. But where's my little thingy? Wait, where did it go? Oh, here it is. Yeah, you do have sugar books, Barb. Yep, you sure do. Look at this watch. A sterling antique emerald ring. This one is signed inside. Sterling, NRL Sterling, and see the stones. Oh, 
How about fifty dollars? I forgot to show this one earlier. <laughs> it was sitting at the end of my table, and I'm like, oh, I forgot. This one is a size seven, size seven. Yeah, size seven. These are emeralds and sterling. Okay, I'll start calling it. Go in once. Go in twice. Oh, fair. Oh, the size is size seven, Purple Rain. Did you hear? I'm sorry. Size seven. And sold. You got it. Thank you, Carol. Thank you also, Purple Rain. Let's see. And let's do this giveaway. Let's do the giveaway. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, I'm going to share the screen. You guys put in hashtag sugar. Sugar, sugar, sugar. Share. Okay. And I can do this one for Oops. $8. Wrong one. Sorry, guys. <laughs> let's see. That was weird. Okay, let me go to present, share screen. There it is, okay. There we go. Okay, now we're talking, okay. So there's nine entries, but there's probably more. I'll refresh it, now there's 10, see, so it's working. Eleven, it's working. Nice. Okay. I shall call it good luck, my friends. And thank you, everyone. Let's let's call it now. Start collecting. Draw. Good luck, everyone. The first two are going to be for me. Car uh, uh, Callie Unknown won. Congratulations, Callie. So I'm going to I'm gonna pull two for me and two for Marzana. But it's Marzana's birthday tomorrow. So I'm going to reimburse Marzana $10 because I'm going to uh, give it away for Marzana. So with that being said, uh, here's one more for me. So Callie won with me. Now there's one more for me. We have Deb Rife is the winner of Sugar Vision. Yay. Congrats. Okay, so now let's pick the the these two are from Marzena. And don't forget, guys, you there's gonna be a show tomorrow on Sunshine and Marzena's channel at 11 a.m. until I think five or, or later, uh, based upon everyone that shows up in, in Sal's. It's gonna be amazing. We have Kristen D. We have uh, Timeless Jewel by Deborah. We have Kim, uh, so it's about to get real. We have uh, tons of people, tons and tons of people. Elizabeth Kobata, uh, Jewelry Nurse Cindy, Roberta's Treasures, and lots of people. Mark and Mike. Randy can say the rest. <laughs> and Randy, the awesome Randy is going to be uh, co-hosting as well. So yeah, it'll be fun. Don't forget to stop by. 
uh, to see all the different resellers. And maybe you guys can find something awesome to add to your collections. Okay, so Deb is the winner. Now let's pick two for Marzena. The next winner for Marzena is Anita. Congrats, Anita. Anita won with Marzena. That's $5 jewelry bucks. And let's pick one more. And Randy, if you win, it's going to be funny again. <laughs> Sherry Kelly, congrats, Sherry. You won $5 sugar books with Marzena. I mean, Amber, bu Amber Zena books, sorry, not sugar books. <laughs> so congrats, congrats. Okay, everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you all so very much for coming to the show. It's been fun. Oh my God, this is tiny. That's not even a four, right? It's like three and three quarters. Wow, that is tiny. It's a turquoise sterling silver ring. Isn't that tiny? How about $20? $20. You could wear it as a pinky. Or what if you put it on a sterling chain and let it dangle like that? Nah. Probably not. You just need to have a tiny finger. <laughs> this. <laughs> Again, <laughs> Deb's in. She likes it. <laughs> okay. I have to pull up my YouTube screen because I closed it because the show is over. <laughs> but I, it, it, I was staring at it. I'm sorry, guys. I was staring at it. I was like, um, go in once. Go in twice. Fair warning. And sold. And Deb gets $5 off, so she's only paying $15. Congrats, congrats. Show must go on. <laughs> Do you guys want to see more? It's up to you. I can. It just, there's a lot of stuff. I mean, it just goes on and on forever. But I, it's a good thing I did the giveaway before you guys left, so you guys can get it done. You do, Sherry Kelly. Yes, you do. You have five dollars. Yep, yep, yep. On on mine on my books, you do. Yeah. Randy says no. <laughs> okay, but this will be the last one. I promise. This is a sterling silver amber bracelet. And this one, it does have a little, um, I mean, it's got some scuff, like a little scuff uh, scratch right there at the end part on this on the sterling. But um, it's pretty good, you know. And you do too, Paula, yep. So this is a size 7. And I could do this for 120. I was asking 130 earlier. I could do 120. On that one. And this is the lowest I can go on this one. 450. 450. That's the lowest. I can't go lower than that. Because it's it's a massive one. And this one would be 450 as well. <laughs> For points are like, now wait a minute. <laughs> This one's 450 also. This is a huge humongous um giant ember. Oh, 
Okay, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, did you guys see this one? I forgot to show this one. Beautiful. And look at the stone at the bottom. See, it's got some kind of a color in it. It's gorgeous. But I have so much stuff, guys. Tons and tons and tons and tons. It goes on forever. I could be here forever. But that's what the next show will be for. So thank you guys so much. You guys are awesome. Um, I'll start doing invoices tomorrow uh, evening because I work a full-time job. And then I'll, hi, Four Leaf Closer, Brenda. Hi, Brenda. Welcome in. And um, I will be doing invoices. So if there's something that passed, you can email me and let me know if you like it. And I can sell it to you also or add it to your invoice. So thank you all. Have a great night. If you can hit the thumbs up for me, that'll be awesome. And you guys have a nice rest of your week. Because tomorrow is Monday. All right, guys. Love you all. Have a great night, everyone. Thank you so much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. And don't forget Marzana's show tomorrow. <laughs>